This is a little review of this WZ Rail B MPPT charge controller. I haven't seen anybody else make a video about this guy. Here's the nameplate on the side. Theoretically, it's a pretty flexible 12, 24, 48 volts, 60 amps. The box that it came in. This is what the display looks like. And right now it is, uh, I've only got, I've got three 250 watt panels, 60 cell panels up on the roof in series. And that's what's coming in right now. And this is pretty accurate. It's, I think it's about noon here and the uh, Mojave desert full sun. And so about 700 watts are coming in. This display is okay. I don't mind this display. It's not as good as the power mister necessarily, probably, but it's fine. You can select some of the icons. I've got, I want to disable the load. This is the classic feature from old charge controllers. Here's Here's the DC load, battery, solar. I think this is a temperature sensor and this is an external display or maybe a, yeah, I don't really know what that's for. I think that's, I think that's for one of these guys, like an MT50. I've got this hooked up to a 24, nominally 24 volt pack. It's 7S3P lithium nmc 25.6 volts nominal it ranges up to the range is a little bigger than this but i've got it between 28.8 and then at the bottom like 21 volts and then it goes to this wz rel b 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter and If you click on the battery, I here's so I'll start describing the things that are wrong with this thing. Um, it's got what I I've got a lithium NMC battery hooked up to this. It doesn't have that as an option, so I press the custom. It reboots the system. It'll probably reboot again. Maybe not. Go into here. Now it's put the wrong thing on. It's got a LFP 612. And uh, so I just, I can't actually get into the custom settings. I'm going to turn off the, the solar because I don't want it charging this incorrectly. So now it's rebooted again and it's lost its English language. It's now in Chinese. Select the controller, language, English. I've never pressed this little book. What does that do? Oh, I guess that just goes to the next setting window. So this is totally wrong. <laughs> um, so the closest thing to me, to what I need is, well, honestly, there is nothing close. But I had it on this. fan just turned on battery oh god uh this is not good set 
what we want here. 28.6. It won't let me do that. Let's try this one first. 23.0. It won't let me do that. Um, let's try lead acid. Yep, oh, it just rebooted twice in a row. <laughs> So it's correctly sensing the voltage of the battery pack right now, which is good. And so let me change that. And then it's asking, when do you transition from constant voltage to constant current? I guess I'll set that to 23. I don't really know what I should put there. And a floating charge. Sure, let's let's do something real conservative. I mean, theoretically, a lithium battery doesn't want to be floated. And I'm not really sure when constant voltage occurs. I think that's just when it ramps up, when it's like the battery's at 21 volts or something and it's trying to get back up into its happy place of 20. Did it not accept the 23? Yeah, it's not even gonna accept 23. All right, so that's... Those are probably bad settings. I probably shouldn't leave it on this, but I'm gonna turn the power back on. The solar. And uh, I'm not sure you heard it earlier in the video, but there was an extremely annoying high-pitched tone being emitted by this guy. When I had it on the previous settings, it let me choose LFP and uh, give it a 28.8 or 28.6 voltage limit and a bottom limit. And when I used those settings, it uh, was producing an, an awful noise. So right now, Okay. Right now it's not gonna charge it. Uh, I guess let's set float to 28.4. So right now it's just not working. Sometimes this takes like a a minute to I'm gonna pause and see and just wait and watch and see if it starts accepting power from the solar panels this is what it's doing currently and it doesn't make sense to me a hundred and 3 volts times 3.4 amps is over 350 watts, but it's saying there's only 0.09 kilowatts coming in. And uh, so it's still in constant voltage. I, d I don't really know what this thing is, thinks it's happening, but I'm going to turn off the input of the solar and uh, I really don't want to troubleshoot this thing. This should just work right out of the box. 
Maybe I'll put in uh, a display here and see what happens. All right, well, I've plugged in the MT50 and it hasn't turned on and I rebooted it and that hasn't changed anything. I rebooted it again choosing LFP4816S. So LFP8S is pretty close to what I've got, which is a lithium NMC7S. And it may have remembered these two settings. These are the settings I put in last time I tried this, that last time it let me try this. So let's see, I think when I turn on the incoming solar energy, solar power, a, uh, a really loud high pitched noise will, not really loud, but high pitched and ear splitting to me, I have pretty sensitive ears. Yeah. So it immediately starts charging roughly correctly. There is about 700 watts of power being generated up on the roof. It's in constant current, which is good. The issue is that there's this insane high frequency noise. I have an air conditioner on. And uh, I just turned it off. Uh, so yeah, probably most adults wouldn't be able to hear this. It would drive a dog insane, and it's driving me nuts. I gotta get a, a little decibel detector to see what wavelength this is, or how many hertz this is, what frequency this insane sound is. But that's a deal breaker. <laughs> I'll have to return this thing immediately because that is not cool. I guess another thing to point out while this is still hooked up, this is eight gauge wire and it barely fits into this connector in here. And these little, it's got little screws that pull, um, pull kind of a square retainer upwards. Damn, that noise is insane. So I'm going to turn off the incoming solar power. Whew. Now that noise is gone. And I'm going to return this. This sucks. I was really hoping this thing would work. For those who want to know, this is what the... Uh, product manual looks like it's pretty bad Still thinking about that high pitch noise. I'm so sensitive to noise. It actually is kind of made, it made me kind of nauseous. It's like some type of military torture. I can I can imagine why dogs howl in pain when they hear such noises. It's kind of loud in here right now. A lot of fans going, but I wanted to show the inside of this. The inside looks fine to me upon initial inspection. I'm not an electronics guy, so I don't really know. Some fuses. I'm, uh, are these transformers maybe? Are these FETs? Here's the uh, 
a little LCD display. Well, so I'll try to get some clear views of this for those who care. And on the back side is a pretty beefy heatsink. But uh, two of the screws that were holding this case down are completely stripped. Eight screws. So that was sad. 